Gefuna daga daga, daga daga ye. Gefuna daga daga. Gefuna daga daga, daga daga ye. Gefuna daga daga. Gefuna daga daga, daga daga ye. Gefuna daga daga. I was in a rush, like I always am, but you know, when you're out shooting, time is money. And I grabbed the camera, I grabbed my micro HDMI, and I simply went like that, and I got it in. Well, first what happened was... Hi everyone, welcome to Pal to Tech. Today's Fast Friday, I'm gonna show you a special tip on how to make sure that you don't break the micro HDMI port on the Fujifilm X-T2 or X-T3 camera. In fact, this tip would work on any mirrorless or DSLR camera that has a micro HDMI port. As you know, HDMI ports come in three flavors, really. Regular HDMI, mini HDMI, and this miserable, awful micro HDMI. Have a look at it here. The problem is when you plug in an HDMI cable, say, it has to be plugged in a certain way. It's not like a USB-C where you can just quickly plug it in and it doesn't matter what side. It does matter. So sometimes it goes right in. Other times though, you're pushing and you're pushing and it's like, oh yeah, I gotta flip it over and then put it in. So what happened was I was out on a shoot and as you know when you're out on a shoot time is money. You have a thousand things on your mind and the last thing you want to do is think of another little detail. So I grabbed the camera, I grabbed the micro HDMI, I needed to plug this in and I went like that right and I had it on the wrong end. So what happened was I, I pushed it in a little bit so I went oh right I took it out, I turned it over and I pushed it back in like that and I hooked it up to the external monitor and I noticed that it didn't work. What had happened was I had pushed this little connector, I had pushed it all the way in. So there was like a hole. I, I had actually forcefully shoved it into the camera. I didn't, you know, do it really hard, but over time, because I was constantly, you know, whoops, oh, wrong side, and then flipping it over, over time, that can damage and weaken the HDMI port on this camera. So here's what I do. I went out and I got myself one of these things. This is a, uh, it's a little paint marker, okay? This is a little white paint marker. You shake it up, and by the way, I'll have a link down below to get one of these. These are really great. I use them all the time. What I do is I simply take the marker. So one side of the micro HDMI cable is wider than the other. And I just put a little dot on the side that's wider, just like that, okay? So I mark the side that's, you know, that's wider on it. Then, on the camera itself, I take the marker and I'm going to mark up the HDMI. What I do is I put a little dot right at the wide end of where the HDMI cable plugs in. Okay, so this is how it looks. Okay, now it's real simple. Whenever I'm plugging the cable in, I quickly look at the cable, I see the white side, and I match it up with the white side on here. Boom! And I know that that's the correct orientation so I can just quickly, boom, and not have to think about it. That's my secret for that. And by the way, label everything. That marker is so great. I label everything. Here, my remote controller for my light, right? Look at that, there it is. But that's not all, there's more. Check out the back of this thing. If it runs low on batteries, I know. Oh, AAA batteries. I don't even have to think about it. I just label everything. That's my number one, I guess, productivity advice for all those little annoyances in the studio or what. Label, label, label. I don't care if it makes it look ugly. It makes it functional. It makes it fast and I can get the job done more quickly and I have more creative energy and thought for the shoot and for the story than I'm having to sit there and think about things. Anyway, that's my tip. Happy Fast Friday, and I will see you in another video soon. So long.